all right hey guys how's it going it's Julie I am back again with another video I hope that you guys are doing well and I hope that you guys are staying safe so um you guys I kind of just wanted to go over a quick topic that I got um it was in regards to a comment that was left on my um, video so again you guys please 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 continue to keep leaving me um, comments on my videos it definitely does help you know especially those that you know have a comment they want to say or just leave feedback suggestions or you know um any question or anything like that please continue to keep doing that you guys because it definitely does um, help with the continuation of these videos and it's helpful to others that may have a similar comment question feedback and all that good stuff right or that could just be looking for guidance advice or clarity right on their personal situation so um, I just wanted to go ahead and review a comment that I got on a video I wanted to um let me go ahead and pull that up right now and so in regards to um let me see what we got here so um someone left a comment that says my mother has destroyed my mental health and um you know i'm really sorry that that happened um that's very unfortunate hold on one second you guys Okay, you guys, I just wanted to actually go ahead and respond to it um, while I was like literally in the process of answering or, you know, kind of doing my take on that. But uh, yeah, so when it comes to the, the narcissistic mother, um, and as I've mentioned in previous videos, I truly believe in my heart of hearts, believe that they are the worst, like the worst out of, you know, the, the male narcs. Now, I'm not giving the male narcissist the male narcissist any passes or any excuses but when you got you got to think about it with the female narcissist she has a lot of power and control and influence and like a say so over her children you know so this woman is raising her children you know she can influence those children to be like her or to be like you know the opposite of that but usually she's influencing them to be like a mini narc or to be have similar behaviors similar attitudes similar personalities right so they have a lot of influence because you know a lot of children whether it's like preteens teenagers adults adult children they want acceptance love and approval from their mom like even if a child was like adopted or you know if it was a, a, a circle gate a child i hope i'm saying it right <laughs> um but most children kind of gravitate towards their mother or they gravitate towards their father or you know their real parent even if they was adopted or if they was like a foster child or they kind of grew up in the system or and ever or, or orphan you know what i mean and so you know they have a lot of influence so however that mother is um, treating her children that says it has that's going to determine how that child's going to grow up how they're going to behave the type of relationships they're going to have the type of personality they're going to have the type of mentality they're going to have their perspectives uh their views their belief systems you know what i mean so that mother has a lot that she can do right to kind of prep them for the real world you know now when it's a narcissistic mother she can do a lot of damage and really a lot of destruction and destroy her children whether she knows it or not now some of them know this and they don't they just really don't care and then others of them um it could be unintentional um but due to whether however that narcissistic mother grew up and how things were for her can definitely have a say so in how you know she begins to treat her children and others around you know and things of that nature so um but yeah that person just basically left a comment and said that their narcissistic mother destroyed them and you could have some mothers that are not really narcissists that could have an impact on their children's mental health um, it could definitely be different situations and scenarios. Um, it could be, you know, some other mental health situation that could have occurred. It could have been, you know, maybe the mother abandoned her children. Not saying she did it on purpose, but it could have happened, right, due to different circumstances, right? The mother could have um, maybe 
I don't know, could have lied and said that someone was the father of the children and it wasn't. I actually had a situation like that. Um, not me per se, but I, one of my family members, actually a brother of mine's, um, uh, he actually had that happen with his mom. You know, we have the same dad, but his mother actually kind of, you know, said some things and, you know, we come to find out that it wasn't true, you know, so that kind of broke his heart. You know, he felt betrayed. So, you know, you have some mothers that will do that and will kind of mess up the child in that regard. So, you know, that child can grow up and not trust in people and may feel like people are going to betray them because they're, if their mom did it, then everybody else is going to do it. You get me? So it definitely has like the mother has a, a huge impact on their children. So if you're a mom, make sure that you are being a good mom and not one of those moms out there that are destructive, um, you know, just very um, deceptive and, you know, just really out here destroying their children's mental health. And then you have some scenarios where the, the mother will not want their children to see their dad. You know, you have that case. And I'm not saying that they're narcissists. Like, you know, this is like normal, you know, situations. But that could be another way that the mother can destroy the children because then the child will make it will want to know like well why didn't my parents stay together it was because of me that it happened it's my fault you know the child will get to, bl to blame themselves and it's not really the child's fault at all it's really it's the mom right or it could have something to do with the father you know so you have that going on um and then also it could all just be gossip like just gossip throughout the family dynamic where the mother is bashing the the father or just spreading lies and rumors and not wanting that um that other partner to move on you know or could be trying to destroy that new relationship and that could be also in a narcissistic dynamic too you know but sp speaking specifically with the narcissistic mothers um they can do a lot of damage and you know if this is you you know maybe you're wondering if your mother is a narc if you're watching this video they probably are and you know this is not a video to scare you this is just a video to just kind of give you awareness and some clarity and if you're wondering like well hey what do i do if my mom is a narcissist then you just have to kind of come to the realization that um your mother has a personality disorder your mother doesn't really love you how you want them to love you and they never will the only way that they will quote unquote love you or maybe show you any type of affection or attention or approval is if you do what they say right you're not allowed to be yourself you have to follow their rules you have to um really live your life for them you don't ha you're not going to have any freedom you know you really have to follow suit with that narcissistic mother is wanting you to do so um you know that is a, a very interesting dynamic so you know so if that is the case then you just kind of give me one second you guys hold on Give me a moment, you guys. Hold on. One second, y'all. Sorry about that, you guys. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, now, if that is the case, um, you know, reach out for support. You know, don't feel like you have to go at it alone. Don't feel like it's weak to ask for help, you know, because I myself did grow up in a narcissistic um, household and um, for five years. Um, luckily, I was a little bit older. Um, I started living with my aunt between the age of 17 and I left by age 22. So that time frame, you know, I was living with her and um, it was not easy. It was not easy at all, um, but God willing, I was able to go ahead and survive that and not allow for her, the way that she treated me, for me to treat other people that same way. I'm glad that I was able to kind of, um, you know, learn from it and say like, hey, I don't want to treat people like how she treats people, you get me? And although, you know, she was kind of sort of like the, the quote unquote, you know, ideal mother or aunt you know a uh, grandmother or sister you know she she was well to do i must say you know she had you know things in place she was pretty you know stable you would say you know and they say that you know a lot of the narcissistic um uh individuals have a lot of influence they have a lot of power you know they are very successful in their careers and stuff like that and that was her you know um but the thing is, is she was miserable, you know, so it's like, 
what, what do you do? <laughs> so, um, but yeah, if you feel like your narcissistic mother has ruined or destroyed your mental health, um, I would encourage you to reach out uh, for support. I don't if it's me, please um, don't hesitate. I would love to support you um, and talk things through and guide you on how to be able to, you know, um, cope and manage and heal through your um, the, the, the destruction and um, the the devaluation of what they have done to your mental health I would love to be able to like talk you through it and um, give you some tips and strategies and some methods on the things that you can do on a daily basis or you know on a weekly or bi-weekly basis to help you to cope and to move past it because the thing is with these narcissistic mothers because it is your mental health sometimes it's not like a physical abuse because some mothers can actually physically abuse their children you know or they will allow the father to abuse you like to physically hurt you and then you may think well why wasn't my mom there to like tell him that hey stop hitting me or hey don't hit me with the belt or hey don't hit me with the broom or hey don't um you know don't allow him to hit like give me a black eye and stuff like that you know you may wonder like where was mom at you know because you could think like oh well mom didn't really want him to do it but meanwhile she allowed that to happen you know so that says a lot about that individual you know and maybe you might want to justify and say oh well, she was just doing the best that she could but meanwhile you may have to go in a tub of ice to heal your wounds so you know that that says that's a whole different ball game but um anyways um you just kind of want to be careful um in that regards and um yeah if you want some guidance or some support in um you know coping with your mother destroying your mental health like i said don't hesitate to reach out to me or you can re reach out to like a a therapist or a counselor that's totally fine whoever is, you feel is going to be best for you on your journey but it is uh, recommended because the thing is is once they destroy your mental health um it just doesn't go anywhere like you know what i mean um because you may think oh you know like i can just go on about my life i don't have to worry about it because you may depending on the dynamic and how bad they destroyed your mental health um you know you may feel like everything is fine but then maybe when you start talking to individuals whether it's you know just friendships dealings business or you know um love interest whatever the case is associates co-workers you may feel like okay i'm okay but then people could see the difference in you they may feel like oh you know maybe you look depressed or maybe you look stressed out or maybe you feel like maybe you just have a bad attitude or maybe you're moody all the time or maybe you're just you could be destructive or you could be non-constructive you may feel like you're not progressing in life and the reason is because of your mother she destroys you essentially you know they really want to break you break your spirit you know that's really the the goal of the narcissistic mother and you don't want to give them that power you guys you gotta um really fight back at that uh, narcissistic mother because um she's out for blood she's out to kill and destroy you know at that point so um don't give her the power don't don't allow your mother to destroy your life because a lot of them i noticed based off of my own personal experience is they feel like they haven't lived their life to the to the fullest that they wanted and so they don't want you to do that and you know usually you would think like oh okay like you know your mother or father you know maybe they feel like they didn't live how they wanted but then they have you right your their their daughter or their son and then they you would think that oh they're going to cheer you on oh they're going to support you like no they don't see that they see you as competition they see you as oh who do you think you are why do you why do you feel like you can do that oh you're a nobody type of thing so you know they're not going to support you um you know they're really actually against you unless you know you follow suit to what they want you to do now if you're like no like i want to like try new things i want to explore life i want to have different experiences they're not going to go along with that because in their mind they feel like they didn't have the opportunity to do that so why should you be able to have that opportunity you know so um you just kind of want to keep that in mind when it comes to dealing with the um the female narcissist and or the mother um that could be a narc so anyway i hope that this video was helpful and insightful please feel free you guys to give this video a like share and subscribe i would love to know what was your takeaway what was your feedback and all of that good stuff so um yeah i will see you guys in the next video love you so much take care bye